Um, so can you tell me about the certifications that you hold? I, I know you're a certified scrum master and scrum fundamentals certified in project management, but all the way all over also to CCNA and networking. Uh, can you talk about what each cert has done to either help you learn the skills to do the tasks that you do or show employers that you have those skills? I cannot stress that Cer certification is really important. Mm -hmm. So, and I will start from the Scrum Master and my Scale Agile Scrum Master shirt. So those certs are really to confirm what I'm doing is the right approach. So what Agile is, Agile is not really a tool or skill set. Yes, they give you tools. They right. give you a skill set, but it's what are you going to use? Which tool and skill set are you going to pick? in right. order to drive results. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what skill set you have. Are you driving results? Are you closing project on time? Are you making the organization better? So the skill set is what I learned so I can apply it to the project management skill. And it has been beneficial for me. And, and I can talk back about the Cisco certification CCNA. What it is, and I'm lucky I had the opportunity because the uh, great US Army put me through that certification uh, mm -hmm. along with other, many other stuff. And it was great because it's not like the skills that actually serve me because I don't, I don't manipulate the network. Sure. I do not configure the network. But what it gives me is confidence. Yes. When my engineer come and talk about, let's say, for example, oh, I have this on DMC, I have to put something on the core layer. Right. I don't have to dip down and have like, I don't know what they're talking about. I know exactly what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. I know exactly what it is when you're talking about subnet, when you're talking about VLAN, I know what you're talking about. And, and even though like when your knowledge becomes, you know, you don't have to understand the detail, but you know the gist of it in turn, you become more and more confident. And when things come out that you don't know, let's say there's a term called blue cat. I didn't know what that was. I can just Google it. And right. Google will tell me instead of Google 10 things, now that because I have this certification base, I only have to Google one thing. Yeah. Now, are there any other uh, certifications that you're in the, in the process of studying for? Or do you have, do you have what you need for the moment? So, and nobody will ever have what they need to do everything. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, sure. and yeah, I think not if, if, you're, not if you want to grow, right? <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't say that I'm still pursuing, but I think that's one certification in cybersecurity, actually a couple of them and people should, uh, anybody who's interested in the cybersecurity k uh, space mm -hmm. should look into it. The first one is really, uh, Jackie mentioned that too, is the security pulse, because yes. this is that welcome to cybersecurity. Let me teach you the lingo. Let me teach you what really cybersecurity is. Yeah. And, and when you get really, really good at it, you have some experience in the cybersecurity field. The next one I would say everybody should drive for is CISP, which is CISSP. Mm -hmm. When I say drive for, I don't mean you need to get a certification. Honestly, the certification is so hard, I try. Okay. And, and yeah. but even though I didn't get the certification, the knowledge you learn to apply to this type of security world is very right. important because many of the security language, why they do certain things they do, what kind of encryption is good and why are they group good? And does encryption, what like what's out there? Is it just encrypting the thing or is it message integrity? Uh, oh, by the way, the credit card you use, the chips, what is this for compared yeah. to the whole world? Like in the army, we have a common access card. Why does it have a chips? They said that's a certification inside. Why is that? So all these questions can be answered through that course. And when you come out, even though you might not have the cert, but you have the knowledge, and then you understand everything from knowledge become common sense, and you will be more and more confident, and your future will be unlimited. Now, are you are you PMP certified? Is that something you're you're? <laughs> Uh, I'm actually not, and okay. no offense, I love Houston PMI uh, Institute. Yeah. I went through the course and it was mainly process driven and right. and very in detail. Mm -hmm. and, and it's very beneficial. It depends on what field you are. It's just right. me personally, it didn't benefit me as okay. much. Yep. It's just because when I'm going through, when I'm going through my project management, it's driving results. 
in the software development world, in the cybersecurity world, it's hard to make a year plan. You yes. can't make a year plan because the plan change. You can spend 70% of your project management to do like a work breakdown structure into detail. Mm -hmm. end up it will change. So what I do is I broke it down into quarter, into month, and then I make sure we produce, we produce. And guess what? Literally, I know that's a term for it called agile. Right. Okay. So that's the certification I decided to go for. Nice. Okay. Yeah. And I mean, like I say, I'm I I, I have no uh, no stake in what, one way or the other whether you have the PMP, but I, you know, it's it's just seen as sort of like the you know the top of the hill in terms of like project management stuff. So I like knowing, uh, like the the different tools for like I said, the different tools for different jobs and stuff. So if you know Agile and Scrum, you know, work better for what you do in in these in these types of projects, then that makes. And that's helpful for our listeners as well to know that you don't need to collect every cert to, you know, start doing the work. You really don't. And but the good news about PMP cert is they are really transforming to the agile format. Yep. So for for anybody that does not have any PM, uh, like real, I would say private sector PM experience, let's say you're in the army, mm -hmm. you're doing the work or you're in the organization, you're already doing the work, but they yes. just don't call it the PM work. It right. is still very beneficial for you to pursue the PMP or the Scrum Master or the Scale Agile. Any of those search will help you at least to get your foot into the door. You yeah. need those certs. New episodes of the Cyberwork Podcast are available every Monday at 1 p.m. Central. And don't forget to check out our hands-on training series, Cyberwork Applied. Each week, expert InfoSec instructors teach you a new cybersecurity skill and show you how that skill applies to real-world scenarios. Go to infosecinstitute.com learn. Stay up to date on all things cyberwork.